Hello, what's up, YouTube? Ronis with it and natural. And in this story, I want to do a full body portrait, skin retouching. And I know you guys have been asking me for this specific tutorial. So, first things first, I'll show you guys my lighting setup for this very image. I took this image at around uh, 11 30 in the morning and I shot it using a Godox AD600 BM and it was in a 120 centimeter octa box. And in order to encounter for the shadows right down here, I had to put my waistcoat highlighter just right down here to reflect some light and eliminate the shadows right here. Then the camera settings, I used the Canon 6D and it is a raw image as you can see. And the settings ISO 200, 85mm lens at f3.2 at 1 out of 1000 second. And here we are in uh, camera raw filter. So when you're taking your images or your outdoor images, always make sure you shoot in row. I would always recommend that any day, any time. And different cameras have different camera profiles or picture profiles. Personally, I shoot in landscape. And if at all uh, you know the camera profile you shoot in, you have the reason as why you shoot in that picture profile or camera profile. So personally, I shoot in landscape. So under profile in camera row, we have the calibration option where that you calibrate the image. So calibration basically is more of that step you use to get the colors the way you want them to look or in a particular photo or video. So we have this profile option and for all the versions, you have that camera like icon under the basic panel. So I'm going to come and I'm going to select my Adobe landscape option. And when you do that, you're going to notice that uh, even before you do anything on the image, you have gotten back the colors as uh, the way you are looking at them at the back of your camera screen when you are taking the images. So I think we are right there in front. So first of all, you're going to notice that when you do that, you're going to, your image is going to be oversaturated. So you're going to come all the way down to the vibrance. I just going to slightly reduce on the vibrance of the image and also reduce on the saturation. I know you may be wondering why I am doing this, but are you going to notice that uh, in the next few steps? So for the images, I prefer to uh, knock down my highlights just as uh, slightly and also do the same for my whites. And you can see now the image is now turning out to look underexposed. So I'm going to do the same for the blacks. So after that, I'm going to come to the shadows and just knock them down to around 26 and also increase on the exposure to get back the right exposure for uh, this very image. I think uh, that looks fine and okay. But as you can notice, Canon cameras usually have that uh, so much tint, uh, all the magentas added into the portraits or the images. So in order to encounter for all that, we are going to come to under the tint option and you, are going to, you can see it has already added uh, some level of magenta to around 8. So we're just going to move that towards the left hand side until we feel like we are losing out on that tint from the image. So I think uh, right now it is fine. So I'm going to slightly increase on the exposure just like that. So right now I think we are done with that. I'm going to simply add some little bit of clarity to around 2. And now you can see where we started and where we are, the before and the after for this very image. So I can still come and reduce on the highlight. So we are done doing the basic adjustments to uh, this very image. So right now we're going to start color grading. So we're going to come all the way down to the HSL panel. And HSL basically means hue, saturation, and luminance. So under this, uh, first of all, we want to tackle the greens because I don't like, I'm not a fan of that natural green. So if at all you love the greens or the green color or the vegetation and surrounding looking the way it is, the natural way, well and good, but I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going to come to my hue option and I'm going to, you can see if at all we move towards the left hand side, we have, we are adding yellows to the greens and if at all we move it towards the right hand side, we are adding a blue, uh, we are adding a blue tint to the green. So I'm just going to leave that slightly, I think around 53. 
don't mind about the color right now so after doing that to, to my tint i'm going to simply come the saturation and i'm just going to reduce on the saturation of the greens just like that to around negative uh, 70 negative 71 and you can see now the model is now starting uh, to stand out and uh, the image is now starting to uh, have that kind of uh, color and harmony uh, between the background or the environment and the model like herself so i'm going to come back to my hues and i'm going to do the same for uh, my yellows just like that and you can see when you turn the yellows even more the image is turning out to look more green so i'm just going to turn it towards 26 and do the same for the greens and just reduce on the greens just like that so i'm just going to reduce on the saturation of the greens until i feel like the image is now looking fine and i can still come and uh, knock down on the amount of uh, yellows just like that so i'm basically trying to unmute uh, the greens so i'm going to leave it to around negative 40 and now you can see or notice that the model is, is really standing out so the next thing I want to do, I want to uh, handle the model's jacket. So I'm going to come to my blue, my hues and come to the blue option. I'm going to basically hue uh, the blue until I feel like it's uh, starting to blend with the environment just like that. I think that looks fine to me. But now I feel like uh, the oranges are really too much on the magenta side i'm going to come to the orange panel and i'm just going to hue the oranges just around three and you can see now where we started the before and the after before after the image is really looking nice and it is really uh, standing out so what what we are going to be doing right now we just want to whiten the eyes of the model before we can dive into photoshop for skin retouching and color grading of this very image so i'm going to get the adjustment brush tool and first of all since we are we want to remove all the amount of a uh, yellow in the white area we're going to go with the opposite of yellow and do a selective target just like that around at negative 28 and now come to the tint option and you're going to move the tint to around uh, 63 and you're going to add or pump up the highlights to around 3 and do the same for the whites and when we're done being so we want to now eliminate on the amount of color in the white area by turning down the saturation option to around negative 70 and now start painting over or in the white area that we would love to whiten in this very image so just come and paint over on the white area basically so you can see uh, the effect is now uh, being applied uh, to this very image just like that so we are done whitening the eyes of the model so right now what we want to do we want to open the image into photoshop for color uh, rather skin retouching so we're just going to uh, zoom out just like that and now come and hit open uh, in order to open the image into Photoshop for our uh, skin uh, retouching. So here we are in the magical world of Photoshop and we are we have finished uh, color grading. This is the first step of color grading rather in camera raw. So first of all, I will have to crop the image in a ratio of 4 to 5. So I'm going to simply come and select my crop tool and i'm going to move it just like that and click in the image just move it in and i'm going to uh, move this slightly in so that i can have less work to do when i'm trying to eliminate this highlighter just right there so i think this is fine so i'm just going to try to straighten the image just like that so i'm going to hit enter on the keyboard and the image is now going to be cropped and we have just gotten rid of the distractions that were in the, in the photo so i'm going to uh, remove my caps lock key 
So first of all, I want to eliminate uh, this kind of uh, distraction from this very image. So I'm going to come and get uh, my pen tool. And now I'll create a duplicate of the background by hitting Ctrl Command J. And I'm going to uh, zoom in. And you can use whichever tool you want to. And for this case, I'm going to first of all get uh, my patch tool. So right click and get the patch tool. And I'm going to simply make uh, that rough selection. Just like that. And when I'm done doing so, I'm just going to move this until it replaces that particular area. Just like that. And I think it did a rough job for us. So I'm just going to hit Command Z to undo that. So I'm, I'm just going to stick with the pen tool. And I'm going to hit Control Command to deselect that. So I'm just going to make a selection just around uh, this that we want to eliminate. So I'm going to uh, make a selection. Right click and make a selection. And I'm also going to uh, make a selection for this second option of this distraction. So I'm just going to come and uh, make a selection. So I'm making two selections so that I can deal away with this all at a go. So I'm just going to leave that because uh, my spot healing brush tool can do that for me. So I'm going to make selection and add to selection and hit OK. So I think we are done selecting that distraction. So right now I'm going to come and get my uh, clone stamp tool. And I'm going to make a sample as I paint over the area we want to eliminate. So I'm going to hold down the alternate uh, key on the keyboard and select a clean area and just come and start uh, painting over that area we just want to eliminate from uh, this uh, image. So we are basically trying to clean up uh, the distractions from this image by sampling and just coming and cleaning up the image. So I'm just going to make a selection. So don't mind if at all I'm doing a really uh, funny cleaning up. So I'm just going to come and make a selection right on top and come and continue cleaning up this uh, distraction. So I'm basically trying to uh, remove this distraction from uh, this very image by holding down the alternate and sampling uh, to clean up uh, the distraction from uh, this very portrait. So alternate and I'm just going to come and paint over that. So you have to take your time while cleaning up. So I'm just I'm hitting Ctrl or Command D on the keyboard to deselect that and uh, it is really uh, not a bad move. So I'm just going to come and get uh, the you can either get the patch tool and just come and try to clean up uh, these rough rough edges that are remaining in the image so I think that is doing a really nice job so I'm going to do the same just right here and try to clean up as a mess so I'm going to come and make that and clean up just like that I know I'm doing really a rough job because I'm doing the tutorial as I am talking so you're just going to right click and get the spot healing and just increase on the size and just come and try to uh, do the cleanup even uh, in a way better way so i'm just going to get rid of this last post so i think uh, that uh, looks better for me so i'm just going to come and i'm going to Uh, this really is uh, really getting to be a hard nut to crack, but I think you have gotten the idea. So you can see now the before and the after so far. 
So right now let's dive into the skin retouching because I've spent enough time trying to remove uh, these distractions. So we're going to come and we're going to uh, merge these two layers by hitting shift command E on the keyboard and come and play our 16-bit action. So since this is a 16-bit, I'm going to come and play the 16-bit action. And I have a story about how you can create that action. You can just look it up on this channel. So come and play the 16-bit action. And for full body portraits, I prefer to use a, a low radius. So I'm just going to uh, zoom out until I come to the face area. So I think I'm going to be using a radius of around 5 and hit OK. And that is it. So I'm going to increase on the brightness of the black and white. And come and select the low frequency layer. Come and get the mixer brush tool. Settings, wetness 9, load 75, mix 90 and the flow 100. Make sure sample all is, in, is not checked because you only want to work on the low frequency layer. So for this case, I'm going to start from uh, the model's feet uh, to blend the skin tone. So I'm just going to brighten that slightly. And I'm going to simply uh, start blending the skin tones uh, just like that in uh, the model's legs. So I don't know why this is really trying to misbehave, but uh, regardless, we're just going to continue evening out uh, the skin tones just like that. So just come and blend or even out uh, the tones. So as you're blending, make sure you blend the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone in a particular image and in order to reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool just uh, click or hit the brackets on the keyboard so let's see if at all we are doing a really decent job I think that is really nice so you can even uh, work without the help of the black and white layer so just come and do that so i think you're seeing uh, how i do my retouching for full body portraits and i hope uh, most of you guys have that have been asking me to do this are uh, really are uh, learning some uh, from this tutorial so you can see now the before and after just for the uh, models fit so let's just uh, zoom in and do the retouching on other areas so i'm just going to turn on the black and white I'm just going to simply come and continue evening out the tones just like that and come and just do that you know for full body portraits I don't prefer to do like so so much like for the close-ups because I don't want to change some features of uh, the model's face or the model's body that's why I prefer to do less for the full body portrait so I think and that looks fine and decent enough so I'm basically trying to even out the skin tones using uh, the mixer brush tool so just going to mix uh, the mid tones along the highlights and the shadows in uh, the image I hope uh, this uh, looks really nice and okay So we're going to turn off this and see the before and after, before, after. I think uh, that looks nice and decent and beautiful. So what we want to do, we want to do the last step of color grading this very image. And before we can do that, let's delete the black and white layer. And we can now select uh, the fit to slightly brighten them. So we're going to create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command E on the keyboard. And we're going to get our quick selection tool. And just select uh, the fit by by simply right, uh, simply clicking. So to deselect, hold down the alternate, and you get the a uh, minus key or option, and you can deselect from uh, if at all you had selected uh, a different area. So we can just come and make a really nice selection onto the fit that we want to uh, brighten slightly. So I'm going to hold down the alternate and I'm just going to do that. I didn't expect this to be like this long because 
uh, we have done uh, so many corrections to this image so i'm going to come to the brightness and simply brighten up those particular areas just like that so that it can match with the rest of the face so you can see a before and after so right now the last step for the uh, color grading process is just going to be selective color so simply come and come to the selective color option come to the blacks and now just intensify on the blacks just like that to around two and I want to add that kind of cinematic kind of feel to the image or mode. I'm just going to go with around negative uh, 10. But as I do that, you're going to notice that the image is now looking really uh, warm or the model is really having those warm tones. So I'm going to come to the photo filter option and I'm going to come the cooling filter 82 and uh, just reduce on the amount of uh, the warm tones in the image basically so i think this is all for a full body portrait uh, outdoor retouching and i hope you guys have uh, really loved this trainer if at all you have learned something don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography and i'll see you in yet another one don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating